everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week on my blog, I'm featuring the Marigold Moment Bundle from the 2023 Stampin' Up! Mini Catalog. Unfortunately, before I made the video, the stamp set sold out. But I figured you guys are going to still want to see the projects. If you don't have the Marigold Bundle, I'm sure you've got some kind of flowers in your Stampin' Stash that you could use as well. All right, we're going to make a seed card. I was inspired by my downline, Patty, who's been doing lots of seed cards. She's even hosting a seed card swap. So I wanted to get in on the seed card action. Um, if you hop over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, there's a free PDF for you that has all the supplies as well as the measurements. There's quite a few measurements for this. Um, so you'll need that. And there are two other Marigold projects over there as well. All right, well, let me show you how this opens. You slide the ribbon down, and then when you open it, the seeds kind of pop out like that. All right? Okay, let's get started. We're going to make the little holder first, and I've already done the scoring. Uh, the first piece that you need is four and a fourth by 11, and you're going to score it at three and a half and nine. Then, um, the second piece is three and three fourths by seven and a fourth, and you score it at a half and five and a fourth. Okay, so we're gonna just fold this in like this. The larger section goes at the top, all right? And the bottom section goes down here at the bottom. All right, we're gonna uh, close up this bottom. We wanna make a pocket, and I'm gonna use my stapler to ensure that I have enough space for the other part. When you use a staple, you can get pretty close to the edge like that. All right, now for this other piece, you're going to fold up the um, bottom part, the larger part, and you're gonna staple this one as well like that. Now this um, half inch edge, you're gonna fold back. Now, let's see, I think I've got my tear and tape here. I'm gonna take tear and tape and put it on that half inch strip right there. And we're gonna adhere it so that basically, it's gonna be right here along that fold line like that, okay? And then it'll pull out. So let's take off the backing. And we're gonna flip it over like this and center it right there on the, above the fold. Then you're gonna take this part and tuck it in. And that's all you have to do to get this to work. So see how it pulls that out like that. Very cool, right? And then the marigold seeds, I just got at our local grocery store and they just fit in and you just open it. Isn't that fun? I love it. All right, let's put some designer series paper on here. I've got a piece of the flowers and more paper that you can get free when you spend over $150. It's one of the things you can get with your free Stampin' Rewards. All right, I'm also using another pattern from that same pack, the flowers and more designer series paper. We'll put this one right here. I try to make it long enough to cover my staples. Looks like I didn't cut it quite long enough. Maybe just another eighth of an inch. And then we'll put this one up here. This one looks like maybe it's a little bit too long, but we'll make it work. All right, and then I've got a cute scalloped border you know let's put the adhesive right here and i since i made that paper too long i'm going to put my my scallop border here on the front usually i like to put it on the back but look that covered that up nicely and you can't even see that i went over the edge i guess on the back you can see but that's okay i don't worry too much about the back side all right, I have cut two pieces of designer series paper from our DSP uh, packs. This one is Mango Melody, one of our retiring colors that I absolutely love, three-fourths of an inch. Get it centered right there in that little gutter, and you gotta make it longer than you need it. So, 
<laughs> that it can fit. There we go. See how it has these grooves here so that your half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch pieces will fit perfectly. All right, so now I'm gonna take some adhesive. And again, I cut these longer than they needed to be. And we'll just trim them off on the side. We'll do that one up like that. And then grab our scissors. Just trim that on the edge. Okay, now let's make our marigolds. Again, the dies are still available, but the stamps are not. You can, the dies are great. You can use the dies alone by themselves without the stamps. That makes a two-tone flower, which is great. So if you don't have the dies yet, you can, I mean, if you, yeah, if you don't have the dies yet, you can get the dies. Unfortunately, the stamp set has sold out. All right, this is a two-step stamp. You've got the top layer and the bottom layer. I'm gonna do the top layer first. I'm gonna stamp it twice in pumpkin pie. Then I'm gonna take the bottom layer, I'm gonna stamp it in pumpkin pie, and I'm gonna stamp off. You don't need to stamp that one off. I'm not quite sure why I did that. All right, look how that lines up nicely. There we go, and now let's clean it, and we're gonna do it in Daffodil Delight. I looked up colors that marigolds come in, I thought I knew for sure, and orange and yellow, it reminds me of my childhood. We had marigolds all over the neighborhood when I was running around the neighborhood. So orange and yellow is what I remember, and that's the color they come in. All right, there we go. You want to always stamp off that back image so that, so that it's lighter than the top. That's going to give you that two-tone look. All right, now we're going to stamp two of our stems. And we're ready to cut. Let's pull out those dies and see you can cut your stems and your flowers without stamping if you want. This was kind of a sleeper in the catalog. I hadn't seen very many people use it. And I ordered it so we could use it. And then shortly after that, the last chance list came out and this was on it, and the dies were very cheap, $13. And it sold out pretty much within a, about a day and a half. So those, at this moment, <laughs> those dies are still available if you want them. That's the, the funny thing about the last chance list. You never know what's gonna sell out. You just don't know. And you have to get these things before they go on the last chance list so that you can get them. All right, let's run these through and then we're gonna put it all together. All right, I have a radiating stitches die, the rectangle, the larger, um, no, not the larger, the middle sized die and we're going to stamp our sentiment in balmy blue and we're going to do it up here in this corner right here you have a heart of gold now i'm going to take my flowers i'm going to adhere them first and then we will do the stems you'll see we're going to do the flower this one right here all right and then i'm going to kind of piece this together Actually, I cut out the wrong stem, didn't I? Let's go back. Let's stamp that again. We need three of the smaller stems. Let's try that again. And I will speed it up so you don't have to watch me. All right, I'm back. Let's try this again. You need three of these stems to go with your flowers for this piece. The other stems that I stamped do work, but for what I did here, I use the smaller ones. All right, we're just gonna attach each of the flowers with dimensionals and then come back behind it and adhere the stems. And I like to put this little piece on top of the flower like that. All right, last but not least, 
We've got this guy, he's gonna go right in the front and we're actually gonna trim some of this stem. Like that, and then come on the back side, grab your scissors and trim. Isn't that cute? All right, we're ready to put this all together. I'm gonna use some dimensionals up here at the top. And we're gonna put that right there. And then we're gonna take our balmy blue and white ribbon, a perfect match to our color, the color of our card. And we're gonna tie a bow on the left side. You want to straighten out those little loops and then you can let's shorten that one a little bit and then snip snip and there you have it a fun card to send in the spring a seed card I hope you enjoyed that project it's fun and unusual and I want to thank my downline Patty for the idea all right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.